you know, it was built kind of by, we didn't know if we could build it. We knew what we didn't like about, Mm -hmm. you know, running an agency. And we just started, you know, saying, Hey, well, what if we could just, you know, we know what campaigns we're already using. What if we could just templatize these and just click them and then they would just go. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the High Level Spotlight Sessions, where we showcase awesome marketers doing awesome marketing. Today, I'm joined by Sam Carlson. He's the co-founder of Uphex. What's up, everybody? I am doing this video to do a quick little shortened version of my interview with Chase Buckner from Go High Level. I wanted to show you the key moments so you can get the gist of what we talked about and maybe even clarify some of the parts where I got very verbose. So let's go ahead and watch which is a Facebook and Instagram lead gen platform that like high level, you can also resell as a service. Sam, thanks so much for coming on. Thank you, Chase. But let's talk about why it exists, right? So Facebook ads um, are pain in the butt, if you ask me, right? Every time I have to go set something up, I'm just like, you know, things don't look the same, can't find what I used to think was in this place. it's very complicated. Is that what sort of led to Uphex? It's just like, hey, this is, it doesn't need to be like this? Yep. I mean, creating ads, creating offers, creating everything you need to do to launch a campaign, optimize it, manage it, the whole thing. It all relies on people. It's broken. It's outdated. Ads manager stinks. Uphex is the simplified automated solution to launch your ads. You know, at first, when you have a couple clients, two, three, four, five clients, it's fine. No big deal. You're jumping ads manager, you're creating stuff and you're excited to do it because you're building your company. But after you do that for long enough, jumping in and out of ads manager, copy and pasting, you know, ad copy or headlines, whatever, doing all that, it gets redundant. There's a lot of human error involved. And I don't know about you, but I don't do the spinning plates thing very good. I'm not a great multitasker. And so all of the focus I have in creating and launching a campaign, man, it, it, it derails me from anything else that I'm doing to actually build the, the agency. So, you know, it was built kind of by, we didn't know if we could build it. We knew what we didn't like about, mm-hmm. you know, running an agency. And we just started, you know, saying, Hey, well, what if we could just, you know, we know what campaigns we're already using. What if we could just templatize these and just click them and then they would just go, wouldn't that be great? So that's where everything so, yeah, so I see the high level parallel. Basically, we're talking about scalability. Very astute, Chase. Hey, I, yes. you know, I have a niche. I, I service plumbers. I run the same ad for every plumber. I know it works. Yes. I just change the exactly. targeting. And so, exactly. okay. Absolutely. It is all about templating, including not just your ads or meaning the images or the copy, anything, like, but including the targeting too. So basically what you're yeah. saying is you can load, you can build that once and then just deploy it each time you get a new client. Yeah. I mean, you, you start a new, like for us, but let's say without Upex. Okay. We get a new client, we bring them on, we start running their ads. Well, we're just cloning a follow-up automation campaign that we built through go high level, right? Mm-hmm. We're not rebuilding it from scratch every single time. We're not redoing all that stuff. We just take something we've built and we attach it to a campaign so that, you know, that management process will start. And that's the exact same thing, the way we approached, you know, launching ads. So, I mean, that makes a ton of sense. Like being able to scale ad management, I mean, theoretically, then you need less employees per client. You know, when we talk about the ratio of, you know, trying to keep your margins in line or whatever, one person should theoretically be able to manage way more accounts. Yep. I mean, when I started using Uphex, my agency grew from 30 people to over 100 people with one stay-at-home mom. You know, when we talked last time, you also mentioned something I thought was really interesting. And to me, I was like, oh, I'll be curious to hear if that works. And so, I mean, this sounds amazing for an agency who knows what they're doing, right? Like, hey, like you said, we have a proven campaign. We're not reinventing the wheel every time. We know it works, you know. But you, you were like, no, this is to the point where like, you could let a client launch their own campaign by just like clicking it out of a library. I really like the way he phrased that clicking it out of a library. In fact, our templated campaigns, we call them click campaigns. And because they're built by you, because you know, they work in your agency, your clients can use them within three clicks. How is that going? Uh, That is about 
eighty percent of our business. About eighty really? percent of our users. Yeah, about eighty percent of our users use. We call them click campaigns. So basically, I just start to blab a lot here, and I should have been a lot more articulate. But basically, all I'm saying is, once you have Uplex, Upex built out, you can offer DIY marketing to your customers if you want. Every people can, and I'll show you this if you want to see it. But people can go into their Go High Level account. They can go down to a tab that says Manage Ads. And they don't have to know anything about Facebook ads, anything about like what kind of offers and, you know, the marketing, the artistic side of it. They don't have to know any of that. They just go click, choose the template, the budget and go. So at this point in the demo, we talked a little bit more. We talked a lot about sales strategy, all that kind of stuff. A really good interview, by the way. But I thought in this video, I'm just going to go ahead and cut forward to the actual demo so you can see how uh, Upex goes into high level and then how it all works and just, just the whole demo. If you look along the left side, that's where we really have kind of customized things. So we've got manage ads and education. Mm -hmm. And the manage ads is where our own clients can go in and again, launch their campaigns. Okay. And so in this case, you know, everything is very, you know, intuitive. You don't need, now, again, I'm running, uh, I'm running campaigns for uh, uh, chiropractors and for medically integrated clinics. Your, if you were using this, you would obviously have different icons and, and titles based on, mm -hmm. you know, how you market your business. But we can go in here and just look at um, the categories. And what we've done is we've uploaded our templatized campaigns. Now we call these click campaigns. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the reason we call them click campaigns is because the uh, ad copy the creative, so the images, the targeting, everything is available after you click on the campaign. Okay. <laughs> and you can see, you know, we've got in this one cat, uh, what is that? Six, seven, seven different campaigns within this one. Okay. You click on it. You come in here. Now you have the option of doing a landing page. Now I'll be honest with you. We prefer just for, you know, functionality lead forms, uh, mm -hmm. pre pretty much a hundred percent of our clinics are doing lead forms. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you do lead forms, then they're pre-built into UPEX and the client doesn't have to do anything to a funnel. Okay. Oh, so they don't have to your daily that budget. that's cool. Yeah. It's already built. It's pre-built. It's part of the build out campaign. Okay. You go in there, you put in your, your 40 bucks. Uh, you put in your website. So, and at, on a lead form, after you opt in, it gives you the option to go to, you know, whatever mm -hmm. page it is. So you'd put whatever page you want to there. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you need any tweaking on the targeting based on uh, distance from your location, you can do that, right? It defaults to 10. And then you hit create. Now this is actual, this is a actual campaign, so I'm not going to hit create, <laughs> um, but you can, you just go hit create and boom, your campaign is launched with four ad creatives and targeted perfectly the way you built out the, the uh, you know, the template and everything is done and you never had to get, get into ads manager. Can you go back one screen to the templates page? Yeah. I feel like it just reiterates, you know, uh, go one, click on another, click on one of these, go to that next page. So let's say back pain. Okay, great. I just wanted to point out for the folks that are, um, struggling to niche or trying to decide if they should or shouldn't. This is one of the major advantages to choosing a niche to go after because look, you know, whether you use Upex or not, you find campaigns that work and can use them over and over. You're not reinventing the wheel. And anytime you're not reinventing the wheel, you're saving money, you're increasing your margins, et cetera. And so, you know, clearly these guys have been in the business for a while because they've got all these campaigns that they know work. But just imagine, you know, how much time and money you could save if you didn't have to reinvent the wheel every time with every client. And so I just wanted to pause there and, and point that out as an advantage because I talk to folks all the time who are struggling with whether, the, whether or not they should pick a niche or, or try to go nicheless. And yeah, I'm not saying one is better than the other. I have a personal opinion that I think niching is better, but this is a clear advantage as far as scalability. Now I need to pause here for just a minute because what we've looked at so far is how cool it is to launch from, uh, from go high level. That's really great. But what you're not seeing is the second feature, which is a game changer. And that's how you can take your templates, all the performance from a lot of locations, aggregate them into one metric 
and no prove beyond a doubt that you have a campaign that will work. So anytime you get a new client, you can say, yeah, we offer leads for this particular niche at X dollars and you can prove it. It's a game changer. So this is uh, if you look here, I've got the date range of just yesterday. Okay. okay. And if I were to click this, if you can, if you can uh, blur this out after, then I'll click that. But if not, then we'll just leave it like that. If that's okay. Um, we sure could blur it. Yeah. If you feel like it'd be, if there's, I think you built it up. We got to see what's behind the chevrons. All right, man, let's show you. So for example, if I click, uh, this sciatica decompression, mm -hmm. I can expand that template. Mm -hmm. And you can see I'm running it on one, two, three locations. Okay. And so it will break down by location. And I can say CR's conversion rate. Like that, that can't that sciatica campaign is kicking butt. 15% conversion, 33 and 13. That's a controlled funnel. Right? Wow. Yeah. So that is that's data. By the way, you notice how it's taking these three locations and it aggregates it underneath one template. Imagine right. the power of knowing without any guessing that, Hey, that campaign works. Right. right. So you say, so the, the top line, that one there, the cost per lead is on average seven, basically 18 bucks. You know, if, if you're, if you're a person who optimizes ads, jumping in and out of ads manager in and out of accounts, how are you going to aggregate the information? Mm -hmm. None of the other, yeah. none of the other platforms that we know of do this. And again, we built it to scratch our own itch. You know, we were building this to just say, hey, we need to know if we're going to run this sciatica campaign. Again, we'll just use that as an example. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you, anybody who says, hey, I need patients for that want sciatica patients. I'm like, dude, I got you. I, I can tell you with way more confidence that I got a campaign that's going to kick butt because of this. I can mm -hmm. look at this, right? Yeah. So that's, that's really cool. Uh, that's we, really cool. Yeah. We can break it up by templates, by ads, by a lot of things. And I'll just show you the gallery too, while we're here. So this is where you build everything. So you saw the, you saw what the front end looked like when in mm -hmm. uh go high level. Yeah. Go high level. Mm -hmm. You saw what the icons looked like. This is what it looks like when you're in your Upex account and you're building these campaigns. Right. So you just go in. You put in, now there's a, there's an actual uh, template creation process. It's super easy to do. Creating a template in Upex is easier than creating a campaign in Ads Manager. It's more simplified. It's more straight to the point. And once you do it once, any ad account that is attached to your business manager will have access to that campaign in just three clicks. Mm -hmm. But you just go in and here's all of the information for that campaign, including uh, the code for the targeting, right? All the stuff, including all of the ad creatives that can be used on that campaign. So it's pretty awesome. <laughs> that's, that's all I can say is it's, it's awesome. We love it. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, when, you, when we first connected, I was kind of skeptical. Um, As you should be. But, you know, thinking back and knowing how things go, it's pretty convenient, right? And people are always willing to pay for convenience. And the idea that you can run a DIY offer where people can generate their own leads without account managers having to get involved and things like that, it's really interesting. Um, Sam, yeah. how long have you been running that? You know, I asked you, is it working? And you're like, it's 80% of um, what's going on. In what time frame were you measuring that in your mind? At this part, I get super long wind. I mean, I'm talking like five, 10 minutes. I just go, I don't know what came over me, but all he was asking was he wanted to know how long we've been using Upex in my agency patient stream. It's been over a year and a half. It's proven it works. Our users use it. It's not hard. And so that's all I had to answer. What you're describing is, okay, you're now selling software that can also generate you leads if you want. You just go click the ad that you want and it's a proven campaign. We talked about that before, right? You've already tested yeah. this in the wild. Now Chase really starts getting the vision of what combining Go High Level and Upex together, what can be accomplished by doing that. So yeah. it, it just makes and when you it, walk it, it through, 
with high level, I love pairing the two. So you can look at your tool and be like, okay, um, what services do you offer? Okay. Oh, you do spinal decompression. Okay, great. You do knee, whatever. Okay, great. Yeah. Let me show you on average what it's going to cost for yeah. a, a lead, right? Using our mm -hmm. tool. Cause here's a bunch of clients that are doing it right now with the same ad that you're going to use. So it's very reasonable. You can make the, the logical conclusion that you're going to get the same result, right? Yep. Okay, cool. So uh, this much per lead, right? You do the math on that on how much you want to spend. And then our software high level is going to automate 50% of these onto your calendar. Okay, great. So do the math. And then, you know, every appointment that shows up, how many of them do you close? Well, that's the piece, right? If you're confident, yeah. you know, that at that point you've taken the math so far, they're like one out of two of that. I can work. I can work with that. Yeah. Okay. Then we get into a lot of strategy stuff. We talk about what the benefits of adding high level and UPEX are, how you as an agency owner can use those strategies to get more clients and maximize the back end profit. He's really getting it. It doesn't matter how good your agency is. If the first thing that you're trying to sell is $3,500, there's just going to be a lot of people that just say no, their brains just are, are immediately going to click off and, and yeah. not be responsive to anything else that you have to say. And then they come back and they're like, you know what? We've completely pivoted to SaaS because it's just so yeah. much more scalable, you know? And, you know, yeah. sure, you're, you're collecting, you know, $4.99 a month or whatever instead of $3,500, but they don't churn. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, it's a slower build, but the end result is a smaller staff, better margins, better quality of life, less stress. Um, so this is a really interesting piece at the front of it. Okay, so hopefully that has been a good outline of what we talked about. Hopefully it gave you enough information to wanna to know more. So here's what you do. If you wanna know more, if you want to see if you can use UPEX in your own agency, it's pretty simple. We have a free trial, it's 14 days. You come in, you use UPEX, and if it's not exactly what we're selling here, you don't pay. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you at UPEX.